Hello, welcome to another episode of Spurverts with me, Reese James. The boy is back in town. Have you missed me, Jack? Of course I have, Reese. Thank you Always very much. You, man. I'm glad. And obviously, this is Jack Bryden, as you well know. What up? Barnaby is having an operation. We wish you well. -ish. We wish you very well, Barnaby. Ah, I'm finally getting my chance in the first team again. <laughs> I sort of feel like Ben Davies. Um, right, this is Spurverts. Today, we're going to be discussing the following. First up, it will be the start to the season, how positive we feel about eight points in four games, how we compare it to last year. Then we'll be talking about Hungman Son's excellent performance against Stoke, getting a brace and an assist. Uh, the fact we are back in the Champions League, how have we got the squad depth to deal with it this year? Uh, Dembele is back in our team. I mean, that kind of links to the squad depth. Uh, and then we'll talk about new contracts. OK, there's a couple of people negotiating them, a couple of people who have just signed them. Are we feeling good about that? And finally, Harry Kane getting off the mark after a nine-game goal drought. First up, it's our start to the season. Eight points in four. How are you feeling about it? Really, really good. Good. Cool. There we go. <laughs> Next <no>. up. <laughs> I mean, it's great to, to have a better start than we had last season. Obviously, we know how, we, how good we were last season yeah. when sort of the ball started rolling. So it's nice to be in a position, a, a, a more while, comfortable, yeah, a more comfortable position. Kane's got off the mark earlier. Obviously, we'll talk about yes. that later. So it seems that we've started earlier than we did last season, and considering how well we did last season, hopefully that we can mirror that. Is there something to say for? So everyone always talks about this idea that like, uh, oh, you're gonna if you if all your players are playing in the Euros or whatever or in a mm. World Cup, is it going to be difficult for them getting in at the start of the season? because they'll be too tired. You go, oh, is there an argument to say, well, actually, they're sort of more match fit, mm. they're more match ready? Well, that was the worry that at the start of the season, wasn't it? The first couple of games, people saying, oh, they're a bit leggy or whatever. Yeah. Um, so there were a few concerns about Dyer, but it seems that, like you say, that match fitness is, is, is impeccable. They just seem Our sharp, they... Danny Rose, and obviously Danny Rose is injured at the moment, but they've been incredible. Yeah. Even in the Euros, I think they were our be two of our better players. Yeah, definitely. I think Danny Rose shot. Yeah, Carl yeah. Walker was very good as well. But so was Klein in the end when yeah. he played. They were both very good. A lot of competition at right back and mm, less so Blessed left back. Blessed at the moment. Um, fair enough. It's been a good start. Yeah, I'm feeling mm. very positive about it. Uh, it's interesting that we've got identical results to yeah. these fixtures last year. Not to the first four fixtures, to mm. these exact fixtures. Very strange. The only difference being it was nil-nil against Liverpool, yeah. wasn't it? And it was one all. Very strange. Well, I mean, we were 15th this point last season. Where so, are we now? Fifth? Uh, fourth or fifth, yeah. And I think we were fourth than Everton. Oh, of course, Everton yeah. Just, uh, so, us. yeah, to, to, to have that sort of in, in your mind, it, it's great. It's positive for the players as well to be to yeah. be knowing that we're in, in a good position so far. And already. to get a 4 0 that early, it helps mm. get the, as you say, get the ball rolling and get yeah, the confidence massively. up. It's, we're, we're a confidence team a little bit, I think. Yeah. It's good to be a Spurs fan. Mm, it is good to be a Spurs fan sometimes. Um, what hasn't always been throughout my tenure as a Spurs I fan. Forget about that, don't yeah, worry. Yeah, past that. is the past. Uh, Son played very oh. well against Stoke, didn't he? It was a very good team performance, I thought, against Stoke. Mm. But Son, uh, who I'd, uh, I'm not sure everyone expected to start that match. I know Barnaby did in his match yeah. preview, but I'm not sure everyone was convinced he was going to be the one to start. A lot of people thought Sissoko might start, given yeah. that Meller had just had international duty. But Son started, and he grabbed the opportunity with both hands. I think that was great. Uh, man management from Pochettino there because he told him or they must have spoken about him not going on international duty Yeah, uh, he put Spurs first which is great to see as well and he come back and just showed he, ha he has had his critics hasn't he mm. and I think it was just good for him to come and absolutely nail it like he did against Stoke and yeah. played really well got himself an assist as well Yeah. so it was great man management from Pochettino to put him in the side straight away and say look I do have faith in your ability and you know, go and show me what you can do. And he did. I guess it would have been pretty rude if he'd gone, I'm going to stay here, concentrate mm. on this, and then Portra being like, all right, mate. <laughs> Not bothered about that. So, Soko, get in the team. <laughs> I know you're new around here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough that he was rewarded for staying there. Mm. Also, what I noticed is that um, both of his goals... So previously, when I've watched Son, he's always seemed a bit nervous and a bit anxious to shoot. There's been a couple of times when he's cut in and he's just mm. smashed it over or whatever, but he's always seemed like he kind of a little bit is like reluctant to take that, that yeah. final kick that final leap or whatever and then both of his goals were just like oh he's just shot what's happened there yeah I mean, especially the second one it was just like oh right okay Incre incredible but goal, i think it was one. the way that ericsson rolled in the ball it was almost too hard to resist wasn't don't it? take that away from sun no fair enough he's to smash it i can't get i still can't get my head around his first goal mm. it doesn't make sense it's a physic in terms of physics it doesn't <laughs> make sense to me because he just puts his foot out so gently I don't, it's, the, it's like Deli Ali's goal as well. It's, it was so soft and slow. Yeah. Like what is ha I didn't. I can't. Great finish. Great finish as oh, well. Yeah. And and Insane. the, it just like, poked the it assist in. as well was great as well, wasn't it? So, it was double Eriksson assist uh, for his goals and then his assist across to Harry Kane mm. for Harry Kane to get his tap in. 
I mean, it's, it's made hard work of that. It though, did. Didn't it? I, I, yeah, just take it first time, mate. But the amount of time he had, he could stop it and then bang it in with his left. I'm glad I've got him on my fantasy team, and I was starting to get worried. Anyway, uh, Son was very good against Stoke. Will Son play in the Champions League, do you think? Because we are back in the Champions League and we have mm. got a big squad this year. We've got a lot of squad depth. Son going to start? I, I, think he'll, I think he'll start Lamella, to be honest. Um, yeah, Lamella's got previous against Monaco. Well, yeah, obviously he scored the hat-trick against him. And I, yeah, I genuinely think that he's going to go for a team that's played together a lot more. Right. Just to, to, yeah, just to get off to a strong start and then maybe bring Sun on if he wants to. Obviously, Sun's confidence is going to be sky high. Yeah. Uh, it might feel a little bit um, disheartened that he won't, that if he doesn't start, but I think he's going to go for I a, a, a very, them, very strong side yeah, to start Yeah, I think with. a lot of them understand. The way yeah. Ben Davies was talking about mm. when he said, look, Danny Rose hasn't put a foot wrong, I can't complain about not yeah. getting in the starting squad, but he's injured, so I've come in. And then he's done a great job. Well, yeah, this is what everyone, Davis did it Sunday, that they come into the team and they do an incredible, incredible yeah. job. And then, yeah, I mean, it's, it's good that we know that the players sort of know where they stand. It's like we've done that thing we did last year where we signed Davies and Trippier and then Rose and Walker, not last year, mm. Rose and Walker have improved massively because they realise, oh, no, there's competition. Yeah. Now that we've got big squad depth, buying all these players, when Yama, Sissoko, people like that, Janssen, everyone's gone, I need to up my game exactly. big time. And it's really, I think it's really working for the yeah. whole squad. I mean, you forget what, the, what these sorts of signings do for a team. Like, I mean, even if we were playing in a Sunday league team, if someone comes in who's really good, potentially better than you, then you will up your game. Ooh, you don't know me very well. well I've I never seen you play to them this, and but... leave it. Very <laughs> flat-footed player, very flat-footed man. Always have been, always will be. Anyway, really? uh, Dembele, not a flat-footed man, is no. back. That's how you do a link. He is back <laughs> in the Spurs squad. His ban is over after mm -hmm. the Battle of Battle of the Bridge. Battle of the Bridge. He is back after laying out everyone. Uh, and I rewatched the <laughs> highlights fingers. of that game. Not that game, but I watched the. Um, uh, was it was it was it Spurred on who posted that Eric Dyer clip? The clip. Uh, no, it wasn't us. But we. There's another. We Spurs used it. Social we media shared it. Enterprise. Mm. You retweeted it. That's how I saw it. Of Eric Dyer against Chelsea. It was Spurs uh, as a result of him signing. His new contract we'll come mm. on to later. And, I mean, it's amazing that he wasn't banned for 100 games. Yeah, it, it's great to have him back. Yeah. Obviously, like we say, the competition in the team is incredible. So we were trying to pick our team that's going to start against Monaco. Mm. It's, it's hard like, to know who's going to... Do you take Wanyama out? Do you put Dembele in? You know, who... It's the same thing, isn't it? Wanyama mm. hasn't done anything wrong. So what... Oh, it's, hard, it's just hard to know. It's, it's, a good, it's not up to us, it's is it? It's a good it, problem yeah. to have, I suppose, mm. the old cliche goes, although I do hate that phrase. Um, it's Don't still, say it, still a problem. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> I mean, I said it. But uh, at least Portugal gets to go, oh, well, they're all good, mm. so who do I pick? Everyone wants to play in the Champions League, obviously, mm. but it's good that we can rotate a little bit more. I don't know. I don't know. I'm glad he's back, obviously. Our stats with Dembele last year were insane. Mm. Um, it's good that we kind of seem to have broken that a little bit this year. Didn't Kane only scored in like, a couple of games that uh, Dembele didn't start? I don't know. Something insane, and our win percentage was so much lower mm. without Dembele. Yeah, obviously, it goes without saying that we were a lot better with Dembele in terms of the stats and for him to be in the team it must just everyone must just be buzzing that he's back in the team so mm. he'd also be eric dyer's ideal dance partner would he don't know if you saw that today no well i did i haven't made that up i've not <laughs> lost my mind what are you eric watching? dyer was uh, interviewed today <laughs> i was watching one of my special websites <laughs> eric dyer was interviewed today and one of the questions a waste of a question from a fan was who would be your ideal dance partner in the Spurs team? Point in finding that out. And uh, he said Moussa Dembele. Hmm. Yeah. So, so leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, new contracts. Eric Dyer was doing that interview off the back of the fact he signed a new contract mm -hmm. today. Thank you very much, Eric. We're very glad that you've done that. Uh, we wouldn't just stay there forever, obviously. We love mm. you. Um, signed a new contract. Obviously, Ericsson just signed a new contract mm -hmm. and then had that amazing game afterwards. After yep. seeing maybe a little bit unsettled before that. It's a slight... I love Ericsson to bits. It slightly annoyed me a little bit that it needed... It looked like it needed a new contract for him yeah, to yeah, yeah. pull his finger out. Yeah, I agree. It's a, it is frustrating, but it yeah. happens all over the world in football, doesn't it? Yeah. They just get a bit... They just start thinking, well... Geez, What's the fucking point? Yeah, exactly. But surely you think, well, I want to play amazingly so they mm. give me even more money and go, oh, we need to keep this guy. Well, he got plenty of money out of that anyway, yeah, didn't he? Did. So. they all did. They all got loads of money. What's Eric Dyer on, do we know? I don't know, but I would assume not a lot. Uh, I haven't seen. I know he's signed till 2021, which is... I did, all of these players are looking to the future now. They can see yes. the new stadium come in. They can see the players that we're bringing in and everyone's really excited about the club as a whole. 
So and a lovely the future new second kit as well, might I say. It's fantastic. That would be a, that would be a bit of a deal breaker for me if the kit was bad. I might ooh. And that's why that's the only reason why I'm not a professional footballer. Apart from the old flat feet. Uh, do you know the average contract length now of a Spurs player goes to 2019? I didn't. I did. he, re he reads a lot, doesn't he? I don't. I, I can read to a year <laughs> six standard. I'm very talented. That's good. Looking to the future, a lot of mm. them getting involved. He seems to be signing up all the youngsters, getting them on proper yeah. deals when they probably were on, you know, low wages and stuff. If they graduated or if they signed young, like Deli Ali, he's probably gone. Okay, right, you're the real deal. Yeah. Let's give you some actual Premier League cash. Yeah. Which is good because we've obviously been we've been quite a. But they're still not on ridiculous hunk. amounts of money. Not insane. I mean, I, I imagine Ericsson is. Yeah, yeah. I think it was was it eighty five or something. I don't and know. that is very high for Spurs. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but yeah, I mean, it's it, these not players. Not your levels just yet. A lot of more, a lot more money coming into football now, isn't there? Mm. So, yeah, I mean, we need to start giving these players what they deserve because otherwise they're going to get tempted away. Exactly, yeah. And Jan Vertonghen and Kyle Walker are currently supposedly negotiating yeah. these new contracts, and you've got to because they're kind of stalwarts of the club. Jan's quite an old well, player see, for, our, for our squad, so you'd think maybe he's going to be getting some big cash. Yeah, I mean, also they see these other players signing new contracts and things, and think. Yeah, I do want to stay. If everyone here stays here, there's a great yeah. sort of camaraderie between all the players at the moment and the manager and all the staff. It's a good club to be at, so I don't know why these players wouldn't be signing new contracts unless obviously there's personal terms that they don't necessarily agree with, but that's a different story. Exactly. Well, we hope Walker and Jan do sign new contracts. I'm sure they will. They will. Surely they, they will. will. Where are they going to go? Probably anywhere. Uh, Harry Kane is off the mark. Finally, although mm. it wasn't that long away this year. Nine games, a nine-game drought. How yeah. long was his drought last year? It was, he didn't score till our eighth game or something last season, did he? Right, but this nine-game drought goes that back includes, to last year. That includes the Euros includes as well, doesn't it? England, yeah. Um, he didn't have a great Euros, obviously. Mm. We were a bit worried about his confidence and about his, you know, how knackered he'd be and stuff. Who, who would be confident playing for England anyway? Yeah. Nobody cares about England at the moment. Raheem Sterling said recently that, it does. It did affect him. Mm. Everyone getting on his back and stuff. But now he's quality. He's you wouldn't. A good if you had someone so going, you're an idiot. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. an idiot. It's you, what always it happens with you. We find the next kid, find the next big thing, and then the press go mad, and mm. everyone has a go at him. It happened with Rooney. Happened with Sterling. Happened with Kane to an extent. Yeah. And it will happen with Rashford. That's my prediction. It will happen with Rashford. Such an optimist. Um, so Kane's off the mark. Do you think the floodgates going to open now and he's going to start scoring? You'd hope so. I mean, five a game. Look, he was. He was the golden boot winner last season he didn't score till eight games in so yeah yeah I mean he's the real deal in terms of strikers so he's up there with the best I can't see him not coming outside of the sort of top three highest scorers who's in, in the, the running do you think for the golden boot this year Jamie Vardy still in it I don't think no, so you know um, I think Ibrahimovic could be in there you know yeah quite possibly yeah I mean he, he's scoring for fun at the moment um, Kane if Aguero can stay fit yeah, he's and stop always. elbowing people in the face. Then I think yeah, I think that he can also be up there as well. So I think the usual suspects in terms of Aguero and Kane, but I think Ibrahimovic could be up there as well. I think Liverpool look sharp this year, but I think their their scores are going to be sort yeah, of spread, spread throughout out. the team. Everyone's going to get ten. All of their various wingers are going to get yeah. ten each. Uh, fair enough. Well, we're very happy that Kane's off the mark. Obviously, uh, let us know your thoughts on that in the comments below. Let us know your thoughts on Walker and Jan. Are they going to sign new contracts? Are we confident of that? Are we happy that everyone's getting involved and signing their future with Spurs? Of course we are. Uh, not signing their future away, just signing their future with Spurs. <laughs> Dear God. Uh, Dembele's back. Do we think Dembele should go straight back in the squad, or has Wanyama made a good case for starting, being in the starting eleven? Uh, back in the Champions League, do we have the squad depth? I think we do. Uh, how far can we go in the competition? Can we beat our record? under Harry Redknapp getting to the quarter-final. Uh, can we do better than that this time? Will uh, one of our strikers needlessly hack someone down? Nowhere near any bit of play and get sent off. Make it very difficult for us. Uh, Son's performance versus Stoke, what did you make of it? Do you agree with me that it seemed like he was just he had his shooting boots on and he just fancied it a couple of times? And before, he's always been a bit more reluctant, uh, despite a couple of Andros Townsend and Des cutting and smashing it over the bar type shots. And are you happy with our start to the season? Eight points in four. It's not perfect, but it's better than last year. Mm. And last year, as we know, was a great year. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new, drop us a like, and we will see you next time. Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On, and this is your regular Monday edition of Five Things We Learn. And of course, this week it is from the Stoke City Zero, Tottenham Hotspur four match.